Hello, namaste, my darlings. Twisting, as I said before in the last video, is not my favourite thing because oftentimes we get sacral overstretching. I like the twist I'm about to do though. This feels good in my pelvis. Why? What's different about this twist? Um, my pelvis isn't heavy on the ground. My pelvis is in midair. Take a look. We need a wall for this. I'm creating two right angles. Right angle, yeah? Right angle, yeah? I'm far enough away from the wall, or close enough away from the wall, that I can touch the wall with my fingertips and palms without leaning. So it's important. If your student's too close, they won't have room. If they're too far, the whole posture's shot to pieces. So a nice, none of this, and none of this. They need to be close enough to do tippy, I like tippy fingers. Um, it's a bit of okie doke yoga there, strengthening. So here I am, looking at the wall. Tummy and pelvic floor. And my pelvis is floating in midair. So it's not rigid, it's not at risk. Okay, pelvic floor tummy. And then I take this hand, and now I work the posture. I bring my knee in and I activate the posture really hard. And I've got my pelvis and a slight tilt so it's disengaged from the process. My pelvis is not engaging. What I do have though is a rotation in my middle torso that was astonishingly good. But my pelvis had disengaged. Does that make sense? I want you to think about this. It's really important that we get the pelvic floor lifted musculature working so that you can feel what's going on. If you can't feel what's going on, you can't help your students because a lot of them are going to get really uncomfortable. Other side. People get very uncomfortable in yoga postures if they've been sitting on a chair all day long. They struggle in class. So our knowledge needs to be pretty in depth. We need to have an experience of these seemingly, si they are simple postures, but there's a lot going on. Okay, how far am I? I'm oh, good, that's good. About half a metre. Nice and tall, lifting up, pelvic floor, feet parallel. Two right angles, two right angles, the foot's not there. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Facing the wall, aligning. How does the knee feel? I forgot to mention the knee, sorry. If the person has a dodgy knee, they will choose to either not do it or put a uh, padding under their knee. But if they've got weight issue problems on their knee, my skin's old, I can't feel it, uh, they'll probably choose not to do it. If they've really got a swollen knee, they won't do it. And that's okay. Okay, I'm going to engage now, pelvic floor lifting, tummy in tight, and now I'm going to release, I'm kind of like, oh, where's my pelvis feel best? Where did my hip feel, feel best? Feels pretty good right here. Most people don't have issues with their hips. Left hand on right thigh and push. Anchoring. Left hand into right thigh. Anchor. Push. Now I can feel that in my right sacrum, which is telling me it's slightly inflamed. I'm not going any further. The other side was good. So my point is, I enjoyed one side and the other side isn't, isn't enjoyable. And I'm pretty bloody fit. So minimise your expectations of your students. If a student you know comes out of a posture prematurely, it's because of her wisdom, not her laziness. Never ask them why they came out. Trust them, trust them, trust them. Always trust a person. When, so, when you see someone resting prematurely, say, good on you. Sorry. <laughs> when you see someone... <gasps> when you see someone... <laughs> we had a video malfunction. Video, uh, Chloe, Chloe's the yoga cat. When we, when we see someone coming out of a posture, I'm always inclined to assume they came out of it for a good reason. And they shouldn't have to tell me the reason, so I just let them lie down and do nothing. Okay, um, so that was that uh, rotation of the wall. Interestingly, I've gone through three of my old yoga books and it doesn't have a yoga name. So I can't give you a yoga name, make it up. It could be, <laughs> it's funny, it could be the swastika twist. You could do a swastika twist. Because the swastika is currently 
debatable, isn't it? <laughs> okay, on that note, I'll go goodbye, I love you. <laughs>